Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Uh, thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Um, Lidl have just started today a, a British Craft Beer Festival. Do it every so often. They bring in craft beers, uh, usually typically from, uh, from uh, Britain, and they knock them out for really decent prices. Can be a bit hit and miss sometimes. So, like I said, I've just been there, just bought what's that, seven, seven there for about £12. One pound sixty-ish, one pound sixty, one pound sixty-five. I think a, a drink, which isn't too bad for a decent craft beer. Some of them look pretty decent. So let's see what we got. Let's have a little chat about them. Um, these guys, I picked two of these up. These, this is uh, William Brothers Brewing from uh, Scotland. Um, picked up there. There was a lot of stouts off there. Match the penguins. Um, 4.9% uh, stout, it's a creamy, milky type stout um, full of uh, roast flavours and there should be some chocolate in there as well. That is an excellent drink any day of the week, anyway. I've had that a couple of times before, I've never reviewed it on video, but it's a cracking one. Uh, William Brothers, by the way, people may know them more from, um, I think people have drunk them before, I certainly have their beers before. But they're really, really shot to fame, I think, in the UK when they brought out Joker and Double Joker. It's those guys, so they know what they're doing with the hops, which would be good about this one as well, because this is from them as well. This is Tin Man. This is a Hoppy Tropical IPA, 5.5% ABV. Looking forward to that. Like I said, these guys know what they're doing with hops. That should be good. I know this match of penguins, I know that is a terrific beer, so definitely looking forward to having that one. Another one, this is an Imperial Stout. This is from Love Lane. If I'm being really honest, I find Love Lane very hit and miss. Um, sometimes they're very, very good. Sometimes they're not very good at all. This is an Imperial Stout, it's 10%. 10% Imperial Stout. Um, I said from Liverpool, it uses some really good, um, tells you what malts using in there, so they've got Golden Promise in there, there's some flake tokes, use some crystal malts, chocolate malts in there as well. Uh, I reckon you get honey and roasted, those roasted malty flake um, aromas and caramel and chocolate on the palate. Um, I haven't had this, I've had plenty from Love Lane, like I say, some are good, some not so good. So kind of looking forward to that one as well. Should be a nice one. What else we got? We've got this one. I don't know if I've had anything from this. This is, oh, uh, no, this is Donkey Stone. This is Donkey Stone Brewery, Brewing. They are from uh, Saddleworth, the whole Oldham area, that, that sort of thing. This is Madagascar. This is a vanilla stout. It's a 5% um, vanilla stout. These guys did, I have had, I think these guys did a gingerbread one, which was absolutely amazing. So looking forward to this. I think this is going to be very similar, just without that ginger flavour, but the gingerbread one, I yeah, can never get that one. Can't remember what it was called. Can't remember if it had the name, it was just called Gingerbread Stout. Was lovely. If you see that, grab it. Um, Stuart Ruin is a classic in these uh, little... Um, beer festivals, this is called State Trooper, it's an American pale ale coming in at 5%. Um, yeah, again, they're another one that can be a little bit hit and miss, um, but they tend to be quite easy drinking beers, so yeah, I'm sure that's, sure that's going to be pretty decent for the price of £1.60. 5%, yeah, that's going to be 5%, 5%. I'm sure it's going to be pretty decent, so yeah, looking forward to that one as well. These guys, I've had a few from, from these. These are called uh, Far Pure from Bermondsey in London. Um, amazing brewer. They really do, they really are good at the stouts. So this is the Bermondsey Oatmeal Stout coming at 5.1%. Rich and chocolatey, it says on there. Um, it's interesting, well, this, this is... Uh, they're owned now by, they were an independent brewer, now owned by Lion. Now Lion have just bought, recently bought, um, Magic Rock as well. Uh, now the nice thing about, the worrying thing sometimes is some of these big 
finance houses or other brewers can come in, buy up these little craft beer um, brewers and, and ruin them. They don't tend, the lion don't tend to, they tend to just let them do what they do really well. So I, I'm not worried about anything that these guys do at the moment. So yeah, nice oatmeal stout there, should be a good one. Like I said, it's very stouty, lots of stouts on there. And this is Harbour Brewing. Um, yeah, Harbour Brewing have done, again, Harbour Brewing, I didn't spot any, they do a lot of really good. There were some really nice barrel aged ones from Harbour Brewing. This isn't, this is called Broken Waves, it's a, uh, an IPA. Um, comes in at, can't see the magic number, oh, 4.8%. So that's coming in at 4.8%. Like I say that the barrel age stuff is phenomenal. Uh, I've never had an IPA from these guys, so yeah, looking forward to that one as well. Um, that's it. That's that's seven drinks. They're the one. They're the ones I'll be reviewing. Try and get around to reviewing over the next week or two. Um, yeah, quite excited by my little beer haul. It's going to be a good one. So uh, yeah, if you want to see some of these reviewed, just click subscribe. Um, and I'll see you later on, like I say, uh, for some of these reviews. Cheers, everybody.